Shooting the breeze with my good friend Benny for many long years. So Benny, what you been up to these days, man? He claims. <laughs> he claims what? The sun. The sun. <laughs> he claims the sun. Are you sure you ain't headed towards that liquor store? Oh no, that's a total liquor. I'm back once more again with Mr. Mervyn Monroe, better known as Johnny Cake. Uh, Johnny, we are live on Shooting the Breeze. Where did you get the name Johnny Cake from? Well, when I was going to school uh, at Eastern Senior in Nassau, back in the day, in the late 40s, things were pretty rough. That's why I, I said I, I'm glad I found out the truth about Thomas Land. Now, when we were going to school, uh, my parents was not rich, not really poor, but uh, the only thing I had for lunch was they, we made Johnny Cake and tea in the morning. Wow. So I would take my Johnny Cake to school with me for lunch because money was scarce in those days. But during the break at lunchtime, all the boys and girls would go out and buy lunch. I couldn't afford to because I had no money. But what I would do, I would stay in school and eat my Johnny Cake at my desk. So this particular day, I remember so well, it was raining outside. So therefore the children had to stay inside to eat the lunch. Now I was so embarrassed by knowing I didn't want to take my Johnny Cake for under my desk to eat. But then I had no other choice because Everybody was eating, and we only had a few more minutes before classes had resumed. So I was picking my piece of Johnny Cake from under the desk to try and eat it quietly. And unfortunately, the whole paper bag fell on the floor. <laughs> and from that day on, when I went to pick it up, everybody said, Oh, look what Leonard eaten! He got Johnny Cake! <laughs> and from that day on, my name is Johnny Cake. Johnny Cake. Wow. <laughs> And you know, for years I've just been calling you Johnny uh -huh. and did not know the whole story behind mm -hmm. the Johnny. Johnny Cake. Cake. Wow. But you know, for stew fish in the morning and um, you're looking at chicken sauce, um, you got to have your Johnny Cake. You know what but, I mean? But brother, it wasn't there. We had tea, dill seed tea for breakfast and Johnny Cake. Dill seed tea? Dill seed tea. And you found dill seed in Eleuthera? Yes, sir. Eleuthera. Oh, growing up in Eleuthera <coughs> was a beautiful thing. We, as you know, we do have the lovely beaches, pink sand and all this. And a lot of people, the elderly people did farming and fishing. So who wasn't farmers was fishermen. But the, everybody lived as one. You knew each other, you respected each other. It was always good morning, good, good afternoon, good evening. How are you, sir? Excuse me, thank you, and have a good day. We were always brought up with, uh, the, 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 with the feeling of one family. Everybody cared for each other. Wow. And if, if you didn't have a, a sixpence <coughs> or a couple or a shilling, somebody was always there to help you. So we grew up as one family. There was love in those days. There was, how are you? Can I help you? Good morning, good evening, thank you, and have a good day. And he was always told, respect your elders. And wherever you meet them, you give them the best of the attention. Those were the good old Those days. Those were the good old days. And Johnny, what part of Eleuthera are you from? North Palmetto Point, Eleuthera. North Palmetto Point, Eleuthera. And uh, were you the youngest or the oldest of your siblings? Uh, uh, the eldest. The, the eldest? eldest? The eldest. Uh -huh. Okay. And um, you spent a lot of time fishing out on the rocks and the Eleuthera? Well, most of the times after school, yes. And, and, and the fishing was very good. The farming it was, was terrific. I mean, we, we, you, actually you know we got the best pineapples in the world. And we had uh, a lot of groves, sugar apples, bananas, a lot of vegetables. So the Eleuthera is known to be one of the most progressive islands in the Bahamas. At that time. And you know, the Bahamas is a very, very rich nation. Very, 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 and that's very, very true. But Johnny, tell me, 
tell me about your dreams and aspiration as a child what it is that you wanted most in life um, once you gotten out of school you you know you wanted to be something you wanted to move up and then and, and, and on a corporate level or what it was what it was we wanted to be a boat captain what it was I grew up as a young man wanting to show my people in the country or our country how wonderful it is to be able to grow up in a in a, in a country like the Bahamas but as I said before I was always taught because I wanted to travel I started traveling at the age of 16 on cruise ships the SS Queen of, bah Queen of Nassau the Bahamas Star and the Evangeline I spent most of my time younger, younger years as traveling to and through the United States and other countries I've been like to Jamaica Haiti, Cuba, Venezuela, Aruba, and places like that. But I've never enjoyed myself as much in all those places as I did in the Bahamas until I came back home to the Promised Land, where, <laughs> where I found the, the leaders of the country is, I mean, they can give you the most promises in the world, but then it's only a promise. But had I had to do it all over again, I would never go to the United States, I would never travel, and I would, I would stay here in my country as long as God gave me breath. That's because, because you know what, Johnny? This is the promised land. This, this is the promised land, and you know, mm -hmm. in most cases, we wind up spending many years in the wilderness. <laughs> and you know, back in the Bible day, they did 40 years. That's correct. Before they were able to enter into the, promise, into the real promised, promised land. land. So, um, but now we are we are approaching our forty year independence, Johnny. Yes. So sir. Um, I guess you may be delivered after all. Well, if it's thirty nine years, it would be forty next year. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, right now, I I have had the privilege of my good God to let me live to the today to be seventy five. Wow. So in the next uh, twenty five years. I think I, I would really say I'm at the power class. But Johnny, you're looking very good for 75, and I'll tell you what, on your 100th birthday, uh, um, let's have a party. Well, i tell you what, I'm not too sure about the 100, but let's have a party now. <laughs>